Hello guys, how you doing? This is su amigo Alex and on this video I'm going to show you how to download apps on an old iPad. I have here an iPad 4 from 2012 guys. So this iPad is 12 years old. I'm running iOS 10.3.3. I'm going to show you how to download apps on your old iPad. But first, I'm going to show you how to sign in to your iPad with two different Apple IDs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in to iCloud. Apple ID and this is the Apple ID I'm going to use, su amigo Alex 5 su amigo Alex 5 at gmail.com. And the password is this, signing into iCloud. You can see that I'm signed in to the Apple ID, right? So I'm Alex 5 By default, I think if you try to open iTunes or the App Store, it's going to try to use the same ID. So let's see what happened when we want to download apps. So let's try YouTube install. This application requires iOS 14 or later, but I only have version 10.3.3. On this iPad 4, I'm never going to be able to upgrade to iOS 14. And a lot of people will think that they're not going to be able to use YouTube on this old iPad. But I'm going to show you a trick later. Let's try with Netflix. Install. This one requires iOS 16 or later. Wow. Let's try Disney+. Plus. This application requires iOS 15.3 or later. We cannot download Disney+. Plus. How about Facebook? Facebook. This application requires iOS 13.4 or later. Lastly, X, right? X. This application requires iOS 15 or later. As you can see, I tried to download the most popular apps. Since I have iOS 10, I'm not going to be able to download any of those. If you cannot download any app, guys, the first thing I want you to do is go to purchase and see if you can see the apps that you want to download. Let's say YouTube or Twitter or Facebook. If they are here with the cloud icon, you're going to be able to download the last compatible version. So how can we find the last compatible version from this iPad 4 on the Apple Store? What you need to do, guys, is you need to sign in to the iTunes and App Store with an Apple ID that is already been logged in to an iOS device with iOS 15 or later, right? And this is the iPad Air 2. It has software version 15.8.1. I'm going to be able to download all the apps that I need. And indeed, I did download the apps that I need. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Apple account, suamigoalex2 so at gmail.com, to sign in to the Apple Store on my old iPad. And that is the trick, guys. So let me use this account to log into the App Store here so I can download the last compatible version of the app on this old iPad. This is the old iPad, right? iPad 4. As you can see, I'm using the Apple ID suamigoalex5 so for iCloud. Now, if you click iTunes and App Store, by default, you're going to be using the same Apple ID you used for iCloud. You're going to be using here. But if you click on it, you can do a sign out. OK, and then you can sign in again. And instead of using suamigoales5 at Gmail, you're going to use suamigoales2 at Gmail. And let's see if I'm able to sign in. And look at this, guys. Beautiful. iTunes and App Store, Apple ID, suamigoales2 at Gmail. But if I go to iCloud, iCloud is using suamigoalex5 at gmail.com. So this pretty much answers the question. Can I sign in to my iPad using two different Apple accounts? The answer is yes. And I'm showing you here. Why I'm doing this? Because with suamigoalex5, I cannot download any app because I'm using iOS 10. But with Swamigo Alex 2, I'm going to be able to download the last compatible version of the app. Now you're going to go and you're going to open the App Store. And look at this, everything changed, guys. You see, I'm here on the Purchase tab. Now I'm seeing all the stuff that I download under that Apple ID. And you can see here YouTube, look at this. YouTube, it has the cloud icon, just download it. And this is what I was telling you guys. Do you want to download the last compatible version? This version of YouTube is not compatible with this device, but you can download the last compatible version. You're gonna click Download. And now we are downloading YouTube on this old iPad. YouTube is done. Let's open it. Okay, so let's put, I don't know, man. Taylor, Taylor Swift, okay. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Are you kidding me? Looks like this iPad is too old for YouTube. Let's try uh, YouTube Kids. If I don't see YouTube Kids here, look what's gonna happen. This is interesting, guys, because let's try to download YouTube Kids, right? Look at this. This application requires iOS 14 or later. So even though I'm using an Apple ID that is being graduated from iOS 15, I cannot download this YouTube Kids app that requires iOS 14 because I never downloaded it here. 
as soon as I download it here, that's going to give me the right to use it on the old iPad. So let's go to the App Store and let's search for YouTube Kids and I'm going to download it. I don't even need to wait for this to download. It should appear on my uh, download apps here. Look, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go purchase and it should be here. Yeah, right here. You see, it's not even finished downloading on the other one, but just accessing it. It gives me the right to download it. Do you want to download the last compatible version? Download. Okay, open. Let's see what happened, guys. I'm able to use the app on this iPad 4. So that's great. That trick works on that case. So let's see if it works with Netflix, right? We go to the App Store and we click Purchase. And you can put not on this iPad and you can find Netflix. Let's see if Netflix works, guys. Do you want to download the last compatible version? Download open okay so let's see sign in oh look at this guys it's working and i recommend you this documentary guys trump an american dream that's gonna allow you to know one of your candidates for this year elections okay how about disney plus we have it here let's see if it's gonna work or not this application requires ios 15.3 or later okay but we have on this iPad Air 2, we have iPad OS 15.8.1, and this is requiring 15.3, and we have 15.8. So it should work. I'm going to explain you something. The reason it doesn't work is because there is no compatible version for this iPad. That means that when this iPad was around, Disney Plus didn't exist. That's why there's nothing compatible with this iPad. So conclusion is you cannot use Disney Plus on this 12-year-old iPad. This application requires iOS 14 or later. So we are not going to be able to download Macs on this iPad 4 because when this iPad 4 was around, Macs didn't exist. So there's no compatible version of the app for this iPad. Okay, that's the explanation. All right, guys, so that's the end of the tutorial. So in this video, I show you how to sign in with two different Apple IDs on an iPad and also how to download all applications or let's say the last compatible version of an application on an old iPad. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. That's the best way you support my channel so I can continue doing videos for you guys. It's important. Thank you so much and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.